What's up guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Dyson Ball Animal 2. Dyson claims that it has the strongest suction of any vacuum, but I'll have to see it to believe it. My first impressions were that it wasn't as wow as I would expect after a claim like that. Don't get me wrong, it did get the job done, and we'll see just how it did. The ball design makes it very versatile and easy to maneuver. It can take corners easily and has no problem sliding along carpets and hardwoods. The first real test was on some ground coffee beans, and this is where I finally saw the suction power Dyson was talking about. It took care of this pile with ease and left no traces. Moving on to the high carpet, the Dyson didn't have any trouble with the suction. It didn't leave any traces of debris, but it had some trouble maneuvering over the pile. Nothing a few extra strokes couldn't handle. Cheerios, hardwoods, no problem. But again, it didn't seem like the smoothest job because the brush head itself is kind of low. On a smaller carpet, it handled this rice much easier. The self-adjusting cleaner head automatically raises and lowers to seal in suction across all types of floors. The Dyson ball doesn't let you go too low under the tables or furniture, but of course, you can go handheld and use the extensions. This is a tangle-free turbine tool, which can also be used to remove pet hair from carpets and upholstery without tangling. The instant release wand makes it easy to clean up high, but I have to say I wasn't too impressed with the suction when switched to the hose mode. The hose bends very easily and it's possible to lose power if it's not mostly straight, so I gave it another chance. The cleanup and bin dumping is very easy, or at least it should be. Here I didn't realize which side the cover was going to flip from, but good thing I had a pretty good vacuum cleaner nearby to clean the mess. So that's it for the Animal 2, thanks.